Today I'll be talking about hand sewing. Before I go into talking about sewing or needles that nobody knows about, I would talk about the different sizes of sewing, different sizes of needles that you need for to use for sewing. And I'm talking about the history, the benefits, and how it's essential to society. Sewing started back in the Pesolonian age, back in the Stone Ages, where they started with using bone, uh, bones as for needles. It started by they were sewing fur and skin together, and the different types of stitches are that I will be doing today is the back stitch, the whip stitch, and the The benefits of sewing are that there, like, if you rip a hole in your pants, then you can sew it. Or if you rip, or if you have a hole in your couch, you can sew it together. Or a pillow, or stuff like that. Like, you don't have to ask or go to, like, pay somebody to sew it for you. You can just, or throw it away and just sew it up yourself. It's essential to society because I think a lot of people in society don't know how to sew. And I think that's what they should know how to do. Um, but yeah, I think it's very essential to society. And then I'll be shot before I get into my conclusion. I'll just show you. So like, there's an eye. There's like a hole in the needle, and then you use a you grab a thread. Which when you usually cut the thread, you're gonna grab it like pull it off the thread, and cut it. So you're going to put it through the eye of the needle. I don't shake too much. So once you get it through, you're going to tie a knot one day. Okay, you're going to, so you're going to make sure it's even on both sides, the thread is. And then you just grab it, make sure it's both even, and then on the ends of the tail, which we call this the tail, you're just going to hold it. So hold it with this hand. Hold it with this hand. And then just tie it around three times. And then pull it down. So you have a knot. So the needle doesn't, uh, so the thread doesn't move, and your needle doesn't, and your threads don't come loose. And then while you're sewing, you're just going to either go from the back. Usually people go through the back of the fabric. Or you can go, like, from the top of it. So then you just, like, go down. So you go up through it, and then you can go back down. So that's, like, one way. That's one of the stitches. And then usually when you're done, like, you can tie it off. So you can just make a knot like you would with any other knot. It's like ropes or like shoelaces or anything. So you just like go like that and loop it through the needle. And then just cut it. And then you can go on to your next stitch. Or you can, and then just do this. And then for the whip stitch, it's basically like, I want to say like a candy cane is how I explain it. Because like you're just going, like you're literally just looping it. Like a bicycle on it. Or anything like that. You're just making it like loops. That's like really just like the most common stitches that normally people use. Because they don't really know like a lot of them. But to end my conclusion. I just want to say that like sewing is very important to society. And I feel like a lot of people should know how to do it. Um, I feel like if there is an opportunity to learn how to sew. And I just want to step out of your comfort zone and um, just learn how to sew. It's cool. But that's it. Thank you.